Tap, 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 working hard. Oh, hello. I did not see you there. I'm getting blinded by this light actually, so I need to start. So congratulations, you've done the hard part and managed to figure out a keyword that you can write a blog post on. It's not too competitive, it fits perfectly within your niche and you feel as though it would get decent traffic every single month. The downside, you have absolutely no idea how to write this blog post or how to even research this particular blog post. In all seriousness guys, if you find yourself in this particular situation, fret not because it's something that I directly had a problem with there as well. So in the video today, we're going to break down the top five ways to research a particular blog post. So let's jump into it. Method one, using Google. So method one is just gonna be the most simplest option, which is just doing a quick Google search and seeing what the other blog posts say about this particular blog post, about your particular niche there. For example, if you were to write a blog post on how much does a car battery weigh, we can see that not only do these search results bring up what a typical car battery weighs, but also breaks down a lot of information there around electric car batteries, which is something that you should then also include in your blog post. On top of this guys, try to Google tangential items or look at the people also ask section on Google, which should also give you some general advice and some general bits and pieces of research that you probably need to know about your blog, that you probably need to know about your individual post there as well. That being said, and I mean this in the nicest possible way guys, don't be a douchebag, don't be a scumbag and copy exactly word for word what other people are writing on their individual posts. They spend a lot of time and money on that. You wouldn't want someone to do that to your individual post. Instead, ensure that you put your own individual individual spin on what that blog post looks like and just be sure to add your own unique research just to really make it stand out there as well. Method number two, use YouTube. So the second major way in which I like to research my blog posts and research my niche as a whole is just by using YouTube to basically build up a lot of background knowledge about the niche. Personally, I find that YouTube works very, very well for those more technical niches that need a little bit more of a visualization in order to get to grips with them. For example, let's say you are going to write a blog post on how to fix a leaky drain. Whilst there would be tons of good posts on how to actually do that. You might struggle a little bit with some of the concepts without actually seeing and, and visualizing basically how someone actually does that. And that my friends is where YouTube comes in handy. Personally then I like to research around about five or six different videos for each individual blog post I write just to make sure I'm going one step beyond then really researching that post in as much detail as possible. So method number three is just gonna be the patent pending, try it yourself method. You see, it's all well and good, you know, researching your blog posts, researching and watching YouTube videos on your individual niche. But if you're not actually taking the initiative and, you know, directly getting involved in your individual niche, you're gonna miss out on all the little hiccups that happen here and there that other blog posts won't exactly highlight. So what do I mean by this? To give you an example then, let's just say you were writing a blog post on how to change a car tire and you found that removing the tire was easy enough, but replacing it and putting the brand new one on was where you definitely struggled. A lot of other bloggers out there wouldn't actually go above and beyond and actually do that themselves. And that gives you a little bit of extra information to utilize in your blog post there. Another way of doing this would be, you know, you change all four of the tires on your car and you realize that your front driver side tire is the hardest one. You could then compare that in a table, add that additional research into your blog post, again, to make it stand out in a little bit more detail. But by doing things yourself, just gives you hands-on experience with your niche and it's just gonna take your overall knowledge of your niche above and beyond. Much like the echo in this room. So method number four is just going to be to speak to an expert. This works particularly well for those of you who are in niches like the pet niche that need expert advice to really get a true understanding of how your niche operates. You can then speak to a vet or a professional expert on your particular niche, which will really deep dive your research and really increase your research levels there over as well as asking their professional opinion on topics that EAT might be incredibly relevant on there as well. Now to further increase your EAT, you can actually link directly back to the vet or professional there if that's something that you want to do. Alternatively, feel free to ask them many, many more questions about your niche overall that you can use in further blog posts down the line. So get on the phone, find those experts in your industry and just get in touch with them directly. Finally guys, we have method number five, which is simply put just to use Facebook. So this method is definitely a little bit unconventional, but I find it actually works very, very well. The first thing I'm gonna want you to do then is just to set up a Facebook page for your blog or for your niche. Then I want you to run an ad campaign on your particular Facebook page just to gather a couple of hundred followers on that page. Now once you have these followers, the beauty is that you can ask them questions, you can put posts up, you can put polls up, just to 
ask them a lot more information around your individual particular niche there. I mean, for example, let's say you're in the car niche or the auto niche and you wanna ask them the best way to remove a scratch from a car mirror. You can ask the question and use the answers that you receive directly in your blog post to really take it to the next level on your website. One of the things then that I like to actually do is just to use polls on my Facebook pages and use those results as survey results across my different websites there as well. So that kind of works a charm. Blogging family, so there we have it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the brand new office there. It's taken a while, but we got there in the end. As always, if you're interested in more videos around, you know, blogging, side hustles, personal development, any of those kinds of things, absolutely smash the like and subscribe button as it really, really does help out the channel. And until next week's video, guys, me and the Equi Room will leave you to it. All the best. Have a good one. Bye.